Well, hello out there, uh, all you jet flyers. This is George Hake from the Delaware Jet Factory. Uh, I thought I'd make this little video <clears throat> to help out those of you who are about to uh, gear up and fly the Parati Rebel Hot. Now, I've had about six flights on mine, and uh, on the, the most recent uh, flight event, I had problems in the landing mode. The reason was I had to fly, I had to land from left to right on our field which means I had to come in and, and uh, over some trees and then descend over a high grass field, which was a, kind of a short length field, and then keep descending onto the runway. Uh, this plane has a 70, a King Tech 70 turbine, in it, and even at full idle, there was enough residual thrust to keep the speed up. So I decided to uh, make uh, air brakes out of my flaps. So this is basically what I did. I'm going to put the flaps down. So you can see it's at a pretty good angle. If I give a quick and dirty measurement with a, a square here, it's about, about 80 degrees down from the center line here. An easier way to measure it is here with... Uh, of this uh, measuring device. So that's about 82 millimeters from here to the leading edge, out the outboard leading edge. The other side's the same. So this way the flaps are going to act more like brakes than flaps, but I think it'll really help landings where if any of you have to, on this plane, where you have to descend, uh, you know, over some trees or sharply, this will really slow it down great. I've used this on other planes, but I don't usually go, I don't usually go this much. Here again, it's a pretty good amount. Rebel hot. Up. And that's about where I had them before. Now they're like that. So it's definitely going to be a nice air brake. And for those of you, you know, building up a Rebel Hot, I recommend this, especially if you have, uh, if you don't have a long outrun uh, to land your plane. So good luck. It's a great plane. Great plane. Uh, this has a 70 in it. I, I don't really need a 70, but when you take off, I can go straight up and accelerate even, even with the wheels down. I fly at about 20 to 30 percent throttle. That's all it needs. Great plane. Talk to you later. See ya.